Hey teabags, what's going on? And today we are doing a kind of another review showcase of my phone, the Red Magic 8S Plus or Pro. I always forget which one the PPs is. But either way, I have been using this phone for probably about two to three weeks now, maybe almost a month getting onto that push. And it has been good. Like, honestly, I honest for upgrading from the Oppo Renoise uh to the red magic is uh honestly it's been good i haven't used it as much as i thought i would use it but i have used it on streams when i've been streaming on obs you know twitch and stuff like that and it's worked for me quite well i've tried connecting it to my pc with wired and wirelessly and they both work amazing yet yeah, if you go wirelessly obviously wirelessly -ly -ly -ly, um you might have some kind of like i don't know delay-ish but not a lot really it was really rare that i got any delay to be honest uh but maybe in the streaming when i was streaming it there was like probably like a bit of delay and stuff like that but either way it felt good as when i was using it and i'm going to just show you on today's video how to connect it actually to your pc if you want to i don't know stream call of duty mobile or sonic forces speed battle even if you've only got like i don't know not a very good pc but you can kind of stream and you want to stream something like i don't know roblox on your phone i don't know you guys you might want to stream some mobile games to your pc instead of getting an emulator because i know there is some ways to do mobile games on your pc to stream on obs which is emulators um I think one of the top ones, I can't remember what it was called. I, I, I used it for once. It was, uh, oh, I can't remember. But either way, there is emulators out there that you can do mobile games and all that glorious stuff. But this is seems seamless, to be honest. It's so simple how to do. It, there was no issue at all. And basically what you need to do, you need to go to Google. So let me just show you right now. So you need to go to Google put red magic studios in like so you click on this page the first page that pops up you can't see it because it's behind my thing let me just show you here the first page that pops up click on that let me go big and you can see red magic studios so you download this um later i'll, I'll do that later there's a halloween thing on nice yes go away um you download this and basically it does the ultimate high refresh rate blah 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 not a, f a, f a, f a fan of latency, zero delay with USB. So it says zero delay with USB. So probably if you are playing an intense game, just connect it. You can use your cable that you actually get with it. So you can use your charging cable. Perfectly works well. So that's another thing that you can use. Or you can use a bigger cable. So I bought, um, uh, I bought a huge cable just in case it was just a... Uh, it's a type c to type c so make sure you sure you do get a type c oh no it's usb this one is you can either get a type c to type c or a type c to usb if you're plugging it into your pc but my pc has a type c ports as well so it depends what what your pc you've got if you've just got usb ports uh, make sure it's like 3.0 or two like at least 2.5 or something but i would say 3.0 um it will work very well like i say if you want to use your the cable the charging cable that you get with it it works the only problem with that it's very small i think it's about one meter or something like that which is fine it's fine you know you could deal with it and you can like play all different games mobile gaming large screen experience wirelessly wirelessly wireless wirelessly wirelessly wireless a TV projector, a wireless PC projector, so it does TV, it does TV and PC, which is good. HDMI to DP TV, HDMI to DP uh, PC, USB uh, PC proje projection. So it it's got many things that you can actually do on it. Obviously, I'm I mostly use wirelessly. Well, I'm saying it again. What wires? <laughs> what is wrong with me <laughs> what i use wireless and sometimes i do wire it sometimes but it, like i say there's a lot of things that this phone can do and i haven't even hit the surface yet uh you've got obviously ultra high 165 hertz zero latency and all that glorious stuff 
life and gaming world running in. Yep. So it does good. Also, if you do turn, say if you've got it wireless, wireless or wired, and you to turn your fo volume up on your phone, it won't come out your phone when you're casting it because it will come out the your headset or whatever your you know speakers or something. So that's kind of a cool thing that I like. So you can kind of adjust the phone there. The only thing that I don't like, and I've got a grasp on, um, a grasp, is that it doesn't connect to my audio mixer. So say if I cast my phone, let me let me let me, let me kind of show you. Let me let me just go in depth right now. So say you've downloaded this, right? You've downloaded Red Magic Studios um, on your desktop, right? And you've got it like. Where is it? It's in the middle here between my avatar and my girlfriend's avatar in the middle here. So you click that up, double click it, and you've got wireless and USB, right? Obviously, I'm going to go wireless. I'm going to click that. And I've already done a video on this already on my phone. So you should be able to see that when I edit, hopefully. Um, so on your phone, you pull down your menu, go to the like circle settings, I, I'm guessing the cord, and you see uh, C smart casting or cast you click on that and obviously i've already clicked wireless so it wants me to scan this qr code you click scan device and then i hover over there and boom it is now casting my phone right which is fine so as you can see let me just change the screen again so you should be able to see me more in depth here right so as you can see my phone is all there the only thing that i do hate about why when you do wireless casting is got the green icon at the top you see that green icon i don't know if you can see it but um if i can put my mouse on it i don't know if i can but there's like a it's like a projection icon and it's got like a wi-fi symbol at the top all the way like i, I, I can't even point at it like there all the way up top you could see it in the middle. I kind of don't like that. I wish you could hide that maybe in the future. But either way, I, I, I tried to try hide it. Maybe I'm not doing something in the settings. Maybe I need to go to the C casting settings. Maybe you can. If you guys know how to do it, let me know in the comments because that'll be very grateful. Um, but like I say, if I go to say, let's play Sonic Forces, because you know how I play that game, I you can see me turn the volume up, right? This will come out my speaker. So, but at the minute, it is coming out of my, so let me just go over here. It is coming out of my system, right? And normally this, I'm using the wave link, so it's Elgato. Normally I click this, yeah. And then I go to the Red Magic and put it on Wavelink Game. Yeah, that's the only thing that's showing up there. And for some reason, it still stays in my system. So for me, when I'm on stream, I have to adjust my system. I can't adjust my game, unfortunately. So I have to pull that down or up. Unfortunately, that's the only gripe I've got about it. Um, but that's probably because they're not mixing very well. Some, sometimes the wavelength doesn't mix very well with certain stuff. But most of it, it does. But as you can see, wirelessly. And I'm going to swipe and swipe. There's not much of a delay there. I don't know if you can see that. There's like a little bit of delay on screen. Like probably zero point something milliseconds. But you can see how fast it is. You know what I mean? So that is pretty much it. So that's how you cast on your Red Magic 8S Pro Plus. You know, all that glorious stuff, whatever this phone is called that I keep forgetting. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the kind of, would it could be classes of tutorial? I don't know. I hope you enjoyed the help if you needed it. And if you guys know how to get rid of that um, icon there, please let me know in the description below or the comment section, whatever it is. I always forget. I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just here. I'm just here. But yeah, that is pretty much it. And to stop casting, you scroll down to where it was. Obviously, you can't see it on screen. And you click that and you can stop. Or you could do it another way. 
is just press go on your PC and literally just press X and then stop casting. And there you go. It will stop casting and it will go back to this. So then you can either go click USB. And if you do click USB, all you do is connect a USB cable and plug it into your PC. It will find it real, real fast. And that's glorious and all the gl glorious things. But yeah, and that is pretty much it how you stream to your PC. But I thought I'd do this video just in case if anybody's curious if they don't know how to do it, which some people are, you know, but it is very simple how Red Magic has done that and how seamlessly it is. And like I say, there's a lot more things in depth of the phone there's so many more settings when you go on game mode when you want to play games and stuff like that it's just it's so in depth that sometimes you don't want to jump in and go to the deep end straight away you just want to chill out and just see what you figure out along the run so yeah there you go this has been i don't know three weeks two weeks a month i don't know how long i've had this for right now but little review on it and i'm enjoying it but yeah I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe and do all the glorious stuff. UT bags are amazing. And I'll have more stuff up and coming for you eventually. I'll see you soon.